Howdy YouTubers, it's me, Tesla Guy again. Um, I've made this really good Slayer Exciter. It's about spitting distance from a solid state Tesla coil. It's not that high powered, but it's pretty high powered. Um, this heat sink seems to work very well. It's a fan cooled unit, so I love it. And it uses a really high power MOSFET. It says C5198 transistors from Toshiba. I pulled it out of a stereo for the push pull amplifiers that were used in it. It's an NPN transistor, so it works perfect for this blocking oscillator circuit. And I'll make a tutorial video of how to make this. Um, this video is to show you the audio modulation I've put into it now. The audio modulation is very nice. It's a little distorted, so it's pretty cool. Um, it operates at around 1.5 to 2 megahertz due to the oscillating frequency because it doesn't use an interrupter. It uses feedback oscillation, so the transistor instantly turns off when it senses the voltage and instantly turns back on. Where in interrupter, you can actually adjust the frequency, but that's okay. This is my first solid state Tesla coil. This is actually my second one. My first one used the really small one, it was about this tall, and used a little bitty transistor. 2 in 2 2 2 or 2N2222 two transistors, they're a pain in the butt to deal with. So I switched to this really um, high powered MOSFET. That's my extra one. So, without a further ado, I'll show you how well it works. As you can tell, you can see a single wire transmission right off. Um, this is a plasma ball. No wires. See? No wires. Watch this. And no contact. And it arcs nicely inside there. This is a fluorescent light bulb. Just normal Slayer Exciter stuff. See? Works quite well. Um, now, I'll show you the audio modulation. Oh, one other thing is. This crazy thing is Bluetooth. I added a Bluetooth module that I made. It's a $75 device, but it's really nice. So, I'll show you how this thing works. Except the stupid switch is to fit. So, I'll start up a song real quick. Again, there's no speakers. I don't know how well you can hear that, but most people just put a resistor in series with the amplifier input, but I put a potentiometer so I can actually adjust it. So you can turn it up and turn it down, but it doesn't like it too far up because then the uh, oscillation kicks out of oscillation. See? But it works extremely well. Except my stupid Bluetooth module shut off again. And this camera is freaking out. There you can probably hear it. Oh. And uh, with a MIDI file, this thing is really cool because then it sounds like a regular Tesla coil. But I'm working on a solid state Tesla coil that doesn't operate at such high frequency and will shoot streamers like massively long. So, subscribe, comment, and like. Thank you for watching.